just make 100 videos, improve something each time, and then talk to me on your 101st video. I officially made 100 YouTube videos, so I am looking forward to that response from Mr. Beast. And I wanna make a video discussing the truth about YouTube from a creator perspective and getting to 100 videos and how it just wasn't the road I expected it to be. All right, so the first thing I learned is just to lower my expectations. As in life, no one owes you anything. Honestly, when I first started YouTube, I fully expected to have north of 100,000 subscribers within a few short months. And once I got a few months in, I scratched my head and I was asking myself, why aren't things going the way I expected them to? I was working hard, I was making videos weekly that I thought people were interested in, and I was continuing to hit the refresh button, just waiting for the views to take off, and they didn't. It was really frustrating. I was asking myself if I should continue to do this. I was asking if the algorithm was out to get me and I nobody wanted to watch. And now I can confirm being this far in the process, no matter how good you think you are, no matter how much you think you deserve views or subscribers, you're not entitled to anything. There are so many creators out there that are making similar content than me and maybe they have different resources or they got lucky earlier on in the process, whatever the case may be, at the end of the day, I'm not entitled to anything. And honestly, I'm not even fully monetized yet. I'm stoked that I have over a thousand subscribers that have chosen to subscribe and watch my videos. I'm grateful for that. But you also need 4,000 watch hours in order to get monetized fully so you could actually get paid for views. And I still have a ways to go because I only have 3,000 watch hours right now. So love for you guys to go back, watch more of my content because it all adds up. But whether it's YouTube or it's anything else in life, there's always going to be people that are just doing a better job than you. There are going to be people that get monetized on their very first video, and there are going to be people that are struggling to get monetized on their 500th video. And now my expectations have become a lot more modest, where I'm just stoked to get any comments at all, instead of just thinking that this video is going to pay for next month's rent. And if I want to be successful at this, I need to shift my focus on metrics that I actually have control over, like upload milestones, and learning, and finding ways to actually get better better so I could actually reach audiences that want to watch my content. Which brings me to the next truth, that YouTube is a search engine. It's not a social media platform and no one cares about you, at least not yet. Early on, I was just making content that I was passionate about, thinking that whatever came to my mind, I would put out there and audiences would just find it and fall in love with it and subscribe and tell me how great I am and life would be awesome. But YouTube's not like that. It's not a social media platform. It is a search engine. It's literally owned by Google and it's the second biggest search engine next to them. People come here to find solutions to their problems, not to listen to you talk about yours. And unless someone's looking for a specific established creator, they're more than likely just typing in questions looking for answers. And once this clicked for me, my perspective on content just changed drastically. No one cares about my problems. And if you do, God bless you, but you probably don't. I'm essentially trying to sell you on you spending your time watching my videos. And with sales, it's all about how you can solve the problems of the consumer, not create more. It was arrogant, honestly, to just assume that whatever I made, people would find and want to watch. And when I started to look at the analytics tools on YouTube, I would see that the videos that actually were getting views were videos on things on how I could solve other people's problems. Of course, I still want to make videos that I'm passionate about, but passion alone can't drive my channel. I know my niche is incredibly saturated and there's people that have probably covered some variation of every video I've made. And I know that the only way that I could even break out is if I bring my own unique perspective into those things that other people cannot provide. Productivity is a huge topic I cover on this channel. And I know that that's already covered extensively on channels like Ali Abdal, where he already has the authority. But I know that I bring that specific edge when it comes to ADHD productivity and how I'm an executive at a law firm. I'm able to manage all of these things with a mental health condition. But I could view that as a strength and I know there's a lot of people that are dealing with the same thing and how I bring that unique perspective that even that man of 384 IQ can't. Next is you just really have to enjoy doing this. If your main focus is views and subs and money and quitting your day job, you are more than likely going to quit much sooner because you are going to find a much quicker path because you're going to realize that this isn't a get rich quick scheme. I'll be the first to admit early on I was super fixated by views and subscribers and I thought that the key to success was hitting all those milestones. I downloaded the YouTube Studio app. If you don't know what that is, it's an app for creators where you can actually see in real time your views and your numbers and you can make edits to your videos, etc. And I was refreshing it a million times a day. I'm not exaggerating so much to the point where my phone usage was going off the charts. It was like watching paint dry, except paint actually dries. And also focused on the numbers that I lost sight of what really matters, which is the viewers. And ultimately I had to delete that app because it was just not helpful at all. It was making me just so focused on what actually I did not have control over. And now my focus is just being an authentic voice on the internet that could just hopefully help someone with every video I make. 
And creating content has just become that creative outlet that I didn't know I desperately needed. And I believe that when you enjoy what you do, it truly reflects in the content that you make. Next is realizing just how awesome the YouTube community really is. When I initially started, I thought that I was just diving into a vast competitive ocean all by myself. And in the beginning, I was. I didn't know about these resources and I was worried about negative comments affecting me. And I feared that I would always be on my own in this competitive landscape without any support. One of the biggest surprises in all this is just how supportive the YouTube community actually is. There's so many supportive outlets out there. One of my favorites being the NewTuber subreddit, where there's other creators that are on there that are just posting questions, giving feedback. They will critique your videos. They will tell you what's worked for them. And it has helped me just tremendously. I thought it was so incredible that there were other people out there that were in the same space as me, that were just willing to give all their time and attention into helping me succeed. I've met so many creators on there and learned so much. Even on this video, I had a friend that I FaceTimed that I met on there that helped me with the intro and helped me kind of put this video together. And despite the competition to all get the same eyeballs to watch your videos, there's such a strong camaraderie among creators. It's like we're all in this together trying to make it and it's just a bond. And the other pleasant surprise has just been the positive feedback from viewers. Like I said, I worried about getting hate comments, but they really haven't come. I hope this isn't an invite to contribute to that, but honestly, it's just been really cool to not, I guess, have to experience that. I know that it just kind of comes and you can't make everyone happy. There's always going to be someone that doesn't like what you do, no matter how good you are. And that's just life. But it's just great that everyone that is just commenting on my videos is just being so supportive and helping me and encouraging me to keep uploading, even though they could see that I'm making content that perhaps should get more eyeballs and they're not and just continuing to encourage me to keep making videos and just trusting the process. And I'm not sure I would have gotten to this 100 video mark if I wasn't getting that positive reinforcement because even though I'm not getting high views, just knowing that I'm reading something, coming from someone that genuinely watched my video, doesn't know who I am, telling me that they actually thought I did good, I have to remind myself that just because the views aren't there doesn't mean that I'm not making good videos. Which brings me to the next point, which is patience is everything. If you're someone that craves instant gratification, YouTube is more than likely not gonna be for you. YouTube growth isn't linear and it just doesn't happen overnight. It may for a few select people because they just have a very specific niche or they might have something just so unique about them and they just hit and it just takes off. But for the vast majority of people, it's not gonna happen. 100 videos, I'm still not monetized. I have yet to get a video that really pops off and that instant gratification is non-existent. Growth on YouTube is like getting in shape or learning a new language. It takes a long time and you don't see results early on. But when you see snapshots six months, one year, two years in, it's a dramatic difference that you just don't see over a short period of time. But in order to get there, you got to have a lot of persistence and patience and resilience and just trust the process. There have been countless stories of creators that uploaded for months or even years without seeing any growth whatsoever. And then over a short period of time, just absolutely exploded. And that moment could happen for you or me or anyone else. But if you don't stay in the ring and keep swinging, no matter how things look, it's never going to happen. So I look at each video on its own as just another brick that I'm building on top of one another. Each new video, I'm learning something new, I'm improving, I'm connecting with my audience, and I'm just getting that much closer. It's like the tortoise in the damn hare. He was slow, but my God, he, he won the race. I'm super humbled that you're watching this video and that I made it to 100 videos and that I have the motivation to continue to make more videos and hopefully get to 200 and beyond that. And although this journey hasn't been what I expected, I just never would have gotten this far without you guys. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe. Hope you guys will go back and watch some of my previous videos and just don't assume that because the views aren't there that the content isn't good or it's not something that you're not going to like. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers to the next 100 videos and I'll see you in that next one. Later.